the Integra Type S is exclusively available with a six-speed manual gearbox that has rev matching and a limited slip differential. He 2024 Acura Integra Type S makes its long-awaited debut ahead of going on sale in the United States in June. The public gets to see the sport sedan for the first time at the Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach this weekend. No pricing details are available at this point. The Integra Type S boasts a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that produces 320 horsepower at 6,500 revolutions per minute and 310 pound-feet of torque available between 2,600 and 4,000 revs. These numbers make the new model the most powerful Integra ever available from the automaker. The only gearbox choice is a six-speed manual with rev matching and a limited slip differential. The suspension includes adaptive dampers with Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus driving modes. The front stabilizer bar is 1.14 inches millimeters, thick, which is 0.08 inch more than the regular Integra. The front brakes include Brembo 4-piston monoblock calipers. Functional ducts in the front fascia root cooling air to them. It rides on 19-inch wheels with a sharp gray finish and a 10-spoke design. Michelin Pilot Sport 4S in size 265 30ths wrap around them. The table below shows some of the dimensional differences between the Type S and standard Integra the exterior is available in the model exclusive color Tiger Eye Pearl. The Type S wears new body panels ahead of the A pillars. This includes a revised front fascia and an aluminum hood with a vented section. The fenders are also wider. At the back, the sedan features a diffuser and a center-mounted, three-outlet exhaust. Inside, the Integra Type S comes standard with heated front seats with firmer bolsters and perforated ultrasuede inserts. The driver looks at a 10.2-inch digital instrument cluster, and there's a 9.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system on top of the center stack. It supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A head-up display, 16-speaker L Studio 3D Stereo, and wireless phone charger are among the other interior amenities. Acura will offer the Integra Type S with several sporty accessories. They will include carbon fiber pieces for the rear lip spoiler and mirror caps. There will be copper-colored 19-inch wheels and an illuminated Acura badge. Inside, a titanium shift knob will be available. Acura hasn't priced the Integra Type R yet, and this tidbit will be crucial for understanding its positioning. We're hoping it comes in under $50,000, which would put it a few thousand dollars more than the Civic Type R and in the neighborhood of German rivals such as the Audi S3 and BMW M235i Grand Coupe. We should know more soon, as the Type R will start reaching US dealerships in June after making its debut this weekend at the Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach. The new generation Honda Civic Type R was undoubtedly one of the most anticipated cars of 2022. Now the time has finally come to get to know the performance model of the Japanese brand. I've seen the prototypes countless times in testing, covered in camouflage, read a lot of speculation, that it will switch to all-wheel drive, that it will have a hybrid propulsion system or a dual-clutch automatic transmission, and I've even seen the new Civic Type R setting a new world record for front-wheel drive cars at the Suzuka circuit. So, the 2.0-liter turbo engine, K20C1, received a revised turbine, an improved intake and a modified exhaust. After all that, the inline four-cylinder unit managed to develop 319 horsepower at 6,500 revolutions per minute and 420 newton meters between 2,600 and 4,000 revolutions per minute. That means a surplus of 9 horsepower and 20 newton meters compared to the old generation. Again, these figures are for the version sold in North America. After all this, the Japanese model has now dropped its camouflage, so we can admire it in all its glory. We have aggressive spoilers, 
generous air intakes, 19-inch wheels, flared fenders, a huge spoiler, air diffuser and three centrally mounted tailpipes for the exhaust system. The color palette includes Raleigh Red, Racing Pearl Blue, Crystal Pearl Black, Sonic Pearl Gray and Championship White. Passengers will find sport seats, contrasting stitching and a dashboard taken from the regular Civic, including the 10.2-inch central display. Being a performance model, the one behind the wheel has an R Plus driving mode. It modifies, including, the graphics of the digital instrument panel. Unfortunately, Honda did not provide many concrete technical details. We only know that the new Civic Type R retains the 2.0-liter K20 turbo engine, but that it offers more power that it delivers to the front axle via mechanical, limited slip differential. The 19-inch wheels come shod with tires that are 2 cm wider than on the old Civic Type R generation. At the same time, the Japanese did not abandon the 6-speed manual transmission. Last but not least, the Japanese manufacturer promises a light and rigid chassis, an improved suspension and more precise steering.